What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, uh, we're working in the shop. This episode, I wanna make a sign, a Ludwig's Garage Garage sign on the wall, and I'm gonna be spending some time on my laser machine. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these banners down to the other side of the shop where the other banners are and make a Ludwig's Garage Garage sign right here. Since this is the bay that I spend the most time in, this is the bay that I basically film the most in. Um, and when the doors open and you drive a car in, you'll be able to see a sign right here. So my thought process was to make it out of wood and acrylic. And we have some stuff here that came in. We got some acrylic. And in this box is a four foot by three foot dry erase board. All right, so before I start on the sign, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I've been working on here in the shop. And I've been working on a ton of merchandise for Alpine Motors and Complex Union for the Complex Union show Roll Call, which I will be at in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada next weekend. Really hope to see you guys there. Uh, working on some leather key rings for them. It's got some cream, black, and brown. And I'm also making another Ludwig's Garage Governor's Club like award, like just my own award to give to my favorite car there. And it's taken me quite a bit of time. I have two full days of production on design and cutting all this stuff. So this has taken up a lot of my time. This is what it looks like in pieces. I have some six mil thick gloss black acrylic. This is all gonna get acrylic welded together, but this will press in here. This piece will go here. This guy fits nice and tight right there, just like so. And then this guy will go right there. And this will all get acrylic welded together. This will all be one piece when I'm done with it. But that guy is gonna sit in the acrylic just like that on the corner. And I have made a multi-piece key ring from the same gold that engraves black. All right guys, here it is. In all of its overboard glory, everything's acrylic welded together. The inlays are my favorite part, the gold that engraved black uh, inlays and the matching keyring, just like so. All right guys, so we're looking at what I ultimately put together for the sign. Uh, my last name, all the letters, garage, those are all individual letters. And this oval you see behind it is ultimately what the letters are gonna mount to. And then this oval will mount to the wall. The whole thing is six feet wide. And since my machine is not six feet wide, that oval is gonna be two piece. And my plan is, is this is gonna be a cut line here. Obviously this is gonna be the shape, but inside here, mark the wood with the outline of the letters to act as a stencil. So I'll know where to put the letters. So that's my thought process there. backing plate, the two-piece backing plate is painted. Gonna let that dry overnight and uh, we'll get cutting the acrylic letters and get those ready to go. Uh, when this is all set up in the morning, one step closer, gonna start cutting acrylic next. All right, good morning. Paint, dry, everything's set up. So we're gonna start working on the bracing. I just ran and grabbed a one by four uh, rather than the piece of strapping I had. It's finally nice out this morning. It was raining all day yesterday. So I'm gonna open the doors. We'll cut this thing up. You can see my scribe lines for where the letters are gonna go. Just so very subtly. I just hit it super lightly so I can at least know where everything goes and everything will be uh, straight and in line with each other.
right, well, I got the back plate all put together. Got the braces on the back screwed in. Just simple, one by four, pine. Just enough to give it some rigidity to stand it off the wall. Um, I did paint it before I assembled it, so I went back with a Q-tip with the paint that I painted the wood with and just covered all the screw heads up. Alright, so today was the ACI Motorsports open house meet and then right across the street is my friend Mason's Riverside shop slash headquarters and we hung out there most of the day today and I didn't film anything. So I failed there. Um, this is Saturday night and I don't have an episode for Sunday morning's upload. So the plan was to get this sign done, but it's just been taking so much longer um, to just get designed, get put together and get put up on the wall right. Um, so I thought maybe today I would film uh, being out at the ACI open house and then Mason's, but it was just brutally hot and we just ended up hanging out and not filming anything. So here we are, Saturday night, trying to get this thing done on the wall so you guys can see how this all came together. Now last night, I glued the small letters for garage on and they're all set up and nice and tight but rather than using glue this time, uh, I'm going to use some JB Weld so it sets up a little bit faster. And these aren't heavy, and it's not outside having to deal with wind and elements and stuff. So I think uh, just using an all-purpose glue for this was more than enough. Um, but the JB Weld will also be stronger uh, and set up much faster. I think first, I'm going to get this thing positioned on the wall and drill a few holes. I think I'm going to do that first. Because all of that acrylic is going to make it significantly heavier and the L is going to come off the edge. And I just don't want to have to be handling this with all of these attached um, while I'm trying to hold it up there and get it set into place and figure out where I want it. So we'll do that first and then we'll uh, epoxy some letters on. letters are on we were able to sparingly use the JB weld they're just setting up right now um, everything's pretty tight already they said five to six minute setup time posture is barely hanging on to the edge but it's already pretty snug so yeah this is starting to actually look like a sign now it should be known I am NOT a sign maker nor do I plan on doing this professionally uh, for other people. I have done laser cut signs for people in the past, but normally it's not an assembly deal. I'll just laser cut all the pieces and then they assemble it and that's on them. I'm not a traveling sign installer, but this is super fun. I mean, being able to design this on the computer and use different mediums like the wood and the acrylic and uh, make a three dimensional sign is, uh, is pretty cool. Especially with the laser machine when normally all I make is leather key rings and merchandise for the most part. So just gonna give this a few more minutes to cure before climbing back up with the sign and uh, finally affixing it to the wall.
All right, guys, well, it's on the wall. And I even climbed up there and dabbled a little bit of the black paint. I used to paint the back part of the wood over the two screws that now hold it to the wall. So once that dries, hopefully that'll kind of hide a little bit. One that's in the S already kind of hides away. It's just a sign on the wall in a shop. And from back here, I mean, film won't really capture it. And the shop's a little bit of a mess, but right here, that is what I was hoping for. And being acrylic, it reflects light too. So in the right light, it's, it's, it kind of pops even more. So I'm really stoked on that. I'm, I'm kind of happy with the placement. Uh, that whole space right there next to the TV is a great spot. And from outside the bay looking in the shop, you know, you'll notice it. It'll be a good little promotional piece uh, for any photos taken in here or even for these episodes uh, here on the channel. But we're almost done. The one dry erase board I was going to put up there being replaced with a much larger one. I cannot have a dry erase board large enough. I survive on these things. Uh, just anything in my head, writing it down. This is a four foot by three foot. I wanna have this right here on the wall underneath the sign. So we'll get measured up. Luckily, since it's a cinder block wall, I've got some straight lines to work off of. We'll get that mounted up. And I think we're all this like awful looking discoloration from water coming through after I painted the wall. I've got a vibrant performance banner that's not quite as large as the Nabori flags that I hang, like the ones down there and the ones I took down here. Uh, I might put that here. That might be a great uh, cover up for how awful this part of the wall looks. All right, guys, well, that is basically this end of the wall somewhat sorted out for now. Sign is up, got the dry erase board mounted. I uh, had to use some masonry screws for that, but that thing is not going anywhere. Uh, great height too. I'm 5'8", so this is perfect. I can reach the top, no problem. And also the bottom isn't too far down either. So stoked on that. That is gonna be full in no time, especially on the checklist for the 1960 Auto Union, because once the Porsche is sold, we're back on this. And there is another project on a back burner that I'm waiting to pull the trigger on until the Porsche is sold. So once this thing is gone, we might pull the trigger on another project that'll be similar to this. That's kind of like a month long, few episode series project while we get back on the auto union, which is definitely another year project or so, unless I have help. And there might be some news on that here soon too. Not sure, nothing set in stone. We might have some big news on the channel, uh, maybe by the end of the year, let's say that. But for now, the 924S with the custom air suspension from Bag Riders using airlift performance, feel air management, BBS RSs, slick top, rust free. You guys know the car. If you don't, go back through and watch the build on this channel, the build series on this car, uh, and the Tale of the Dragon episode, the episode before this, uh, where we drove this thing hard and put it to the test. Hex cap and center cap on the driver's front uh, is inbound. Gonna have that thing sorted out and this thing will be ready to go. Email me at ludwigsgarage at hotmail.com and I'll give you all the details on it. And it's been transparent. It's been a transparent build. You guys have seen under the car, you've seen it perform. You've seen things that I've fixed and maintained on it. So we'll leave it there. We'll get the sign up and super stoked on that. Dry erase board, that'll help keep my mind sharp and uh, the long laundry list of things to do in check. But that's it guys. Thank you for watching. This has been um, a project that's taken far longer than I wanted it to, uh, but I'm glad I got it done. Glad you guys came along for the ride as well. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. If you enjoy watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button, even hit the notification bell so you guys know when episodes go up. I've been doing my best to get two episodes out a week and I'm trying to get back into the podcast, which used to be one a week. There's not enough hours in the day for this. So hit the subscribe button. It really helps a lot on my end and helps justify all of this crazy work. A project that would normally just take a day takes me three days because I'm filming and editing and doing all this. But thank you guys so much for all the support. Can't wait to see you soon. Complex Union Roll Call next week, July 15th on Saturday. 
I'll be in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada for the Complex Union show. Cannot wait to see you guys. I've talked to a handful of you who will be there. I'm going to bring some merch with me. Can't wait to see you guys later. I'll see you all in the next episode.